Hello guys, so how to clean cache on your iPad? So sometimes if you are using your iPad for a long time or the same goes with your iPhone and uh, you collect a lot of cookies, unwanted cache items and uh, like the, your iPad or iPhone become really, really slow. Um, so and is, these files also take up a lot of space on your iPad. So in order to clean the cache and give some sp space boost and also speed up your iPad, iPad or iPhone, mm, you, can, you can follow these four steps. So first of all, you can clean your Safari cache and browsing data. You need to go to settings and then uh, in this uh, group of apps, starting with Mail, you click Safari. Then right here you will have an option to clear history and web website data. You click on it and here you can clear it. Uh, but as you can read, clearing will remove history, cookies and other browsing data. Uh, so it means you need to be careful uh, because it also will work with your all iCloud devices. So the history from your all iCloud devices will also be clean. So, you just need to consider if you really want it, but uh, in, in most cases, if you want just to free up some space on iPad, you just do it. Uh, second of all, you can check out uh, per each app, which of these apps are taking too much space. So you just then go to settings general, um, and then you go to storage or iCloud usage. And here you can manage storage. Right here you can already see that, for example, total space uh, is uh, 13 gigabytes, but you only have uh, 1.5 gigabytes left. So you can manage storage. Uh, from here you can see which apps uh, take uh, the most space uh, on your iPad. Uh, and you can see Netflix 250 megabytes, iBooks, etc., etc. Mm. Well, so to free up space, uh, you, you can of course delete an app or you can just look, for example, Kindle uh, and you can check out these documents and, and data title and uh, how much space does it take. Usually if, if an app takes more than, uh, I don't know, 200, 300 megabytes, maybe you need to reconsider and uh, random load it so you just need to delete it and reinstall it again uh, because this way you, you will you will clean up some cache and uh, free up some space uh, a lot of apps if you don't restart your ipad or if you are using these apps for like for a year or two without re reinstalling or updating them they, they will collect a lot of like local files and data and they will take, take up a lot of space on your iPad. Uh, third step would be just to restart after, after you did all these steps, just to restart your uh, iPad or iPhone. Uh, for doing that, you can just hold the button in top right corner like this. And you will see this option to, uh, to power off. So I won't be doing that. Uh, but this way you can just restart your uh, device, then recharge it until it's 100% uh, uh, fully powered uh, on. And yeah, this, this, way, this way you can save some uh, space. And fourth option, uh, you, you can use some uh, cleaner apps. Uh, for example, one of the cleaner apps is like is called Phone Clean. So you can use that. Uh, there are some uh, some other uh, free options as well, uh, but you just need to check it out. Uh, you can just type in uh, in your app store. And, and and you you will see uh, you will see all different options. 
So these are basically four main steps to, to free up space uh, on your iPad to clean some cache to, to speed up your iPad uh, so you, you can follow them and hopefully it, it will save you a lot of time. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, see you around!